I completely was the opposite of who I was before when I started using, where I was had goals and I wanted to do stuff with my life. And then when the drugs came, especially when the dependency kicked in, I, it, was, it went the complete opposite way. And my life, I lost everything that meant everything to me just from going down that road. I was a pretty active kid growing up. My dad made sure it was, uh, it was turned out the way it should have in, that, in terms of that. Um, uh, my mother left when I uh, moved to the States when I was about 10, 11 years old, so it was just me and my father. He was diagnosed with Huntington's disease shortly after I got out of high school when I was about 17, 18 years old. The disease got so bad where he started trying to take his own life on a fairly consistent basis. Eventually, uh, he succeeded. That's when I started taking OxyContin. That ruined my life, going deciding to take that road and, and try to basically avoid my problems by numbing it out. You hear stories about somebody who used to be a good guy and then you look and then you, you see him get into drugs and they're completely that's what kind of what happened with me. Like my sense of ethics went out the window, my morals, I was lying, manipulating, stealing, I all just to get what I needed, and I, I, it's, it wasn't fun. I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. It, it's, it's so horrible. I, I, I'll die before I go back to that. My whole outlook on life now is completely different. Once I started to get off hills and then I eventually succeeded, it's just like, okay, well, what can't you do? Well, put the biggest challenge in front of you and see, how, see if you can stack up to that. So I biked across Canada. The most common answer I heard was, you'll find a lot of that around here. But when you hear that everywhere, that's, it's cause for concern. It's, um, Everybody thinks it's like a problem in their community, but it's, it's, it's a problem in every community and, and it's substantially growing. My father, yeah, he definitely inspires me. He's He's my hero. He, he taught me every, he gave me the philosophical ethics, I suppose you could say, the, that kind of allowed me to realize that what I was doing was wrong and kind of come back from it. Yeah, he's my hero. Actually, I got that tattoo right there. It says, my father, my hero, across my shoulder. Once you start achieving goals and start setting, setting goals out for yourself and you start getting through them, that feeling of achievement becomes just as addictive as any narcotic I've ever tried. So, but now it's only working to my benefit instead of my detriment.